everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and today I'm going to show you how you can use Global Funnels for WooCommerce and how this is going to effectively help you to set up offers for your entire WooCommerce store. So let's begin. So what you're looking at is the dashboard, right? This is a test site I'm using. Now, remember, before you start doing anything, you need to have WooCommerce and you need to have products added to your store, okay? And you also need to set up the payments, uh, shipping settings and everything. So just set up your WooCommerce store first before you start creating funnels for it, okay? Now, I already have WP Funnels, WP Funnels Pro and WP Funnels Global Funnels add-on, all right? At the same time for payments, I'm using PayPal payments or Stripe Getaway. If you have some other payment gateway in mind, uh, you can uh, check out the supported payment gateways we have for one click upsell you can get the link in the description below all right and uh, for all other payment gateways this should work in the checkout all right so now let me go ahead and go to wp funnels you can see here i've already created a funnel uh, before and i've kept it on draft now the specialty of wp funnels is that you can create single sales funnels for your products and have separate landing page and all at the same time uh, using global funnels add-on you can create a dynamic sales funnel basically and sales funnel depending on conditions all right so here i'm just going to create a brand new funnel and show you how this works all right let me click on add new funnel and once you click on that it's gonna let me choose from several available templates that we have okay or you can create one from scratch if you want to for now let me just import uh, one template okay There you go. So once the template is imported, you can see all the steps are here and you, you're on our special visual canvas, all right? So let me just rearrange the step uh, as per my convenience, all right? So you can see how I can easily drag and drop stuff. It's really cool, all right? So now uh, I have the steps ready. Let's say I don't want to make a downsell offer in my e-commerce store. So I'll just remove that and I'll just remove the condition and I'll just connect this uh, to So now I have a four steps funnel, all right? So what I'll do is I'm going to convert this into a global funnel. And to do that, you can easily just over here and click on this toggle. And once you do that, this will convert this into a global funnel. You can see the landing is disabled. That's because there won't be any specific landing. People will be directed from the shop based on conditions. Let me tell you what I mean. Just click on this step, check out, and click on its settings uh, icon. And this will open up its settings uh, drawer. And here you can see you have this option to choose a condition. There is no option to add a product uh, directly. What you can do is you can choose a condition, enter funnel if. This is the condition. So once you click on this, you have the option to choose different types of conditions, such as product category is. This means the category that you set up, uh, if the product in a person's cart is in that category, he will enter this funnel. Uh, then there is the product is. This is basically if you want to set up a specific product funnel, uh, from the WooCommerce store, you can do that. Uh, any product is selected. Basically, you want to make a single funnel for the whole store. And you can see there are so many other conditions here, such as the cart total, product quantity, highest sold product, most popular product, and so on. More conditions are coming up as well. So let me just show you with one condition now. And then in the following videos, I'm going to create separate videos for each condition so you know when they should apply and how they work. Okay. So for now, let me just choose product category is. Okay. And then here, I'll choose a single category. Let's say I'll choose T-shirt. I'm sorry, I think I don't have a category with a hyphen there. So there you go. So I have a category called T-shirts. This means when a person has a product uh, that's under the category T-shirts in the cart, when they try to go to the checkout, they'll enter this funnel. So if I click on save changes, you can see the condition is set, all right? Now, I want to make an order bump offer for this. So I can go to order bump and I can click on add order bump and here you can see I've added an order bump now to make a specific product offer let's say I'll just offer a cap all right so whoever purchases something in the t-shirt category I want to offer him a cap here I can just customize this uh, special cap just for you and a discount and here I can use a discount on the cap so let's say uh, I'll just use a uh, that's a 20% discount, okay? So this will bring in $12. So usually they would get it at 16. Now they're gonna get it at 1280, all right? So I'm just gonna save this and I'm just gonna cross this out and my checkout step is ready. I'll just go to the upsell and I'll assign an upsell offer. 
So here you can also choose if this is going to be a specific product or you want to make more quantity offers of the same thing that was in the card. All right, but we are adding more conditions soon. They're getting ready and hopefully they'll be released in the upcoming weeks. So for now, let me just choose a specific product. So uh, for everybody who buys t-shirt, I might want to offer, uh, let's say a belt. Let's say it's a belt for their pant or their jeans. Okay. And let's say I don't, I want to make a specific discount of let's say 20% uh, on this okay so there you go so there'll be a 52 dollar at the price well I, it's kind of expensive belt in my store I guess so I'll just save this I'll just cross this out and there you go my absolute is ready but once I have set the conditions I also have designed the pages okay so what you can do is you can select the step and click on edit and this will open the page in your preferred page builder uh, edit mode all right so i have chosen elementor as a result uh this is open in elementor if you have other builders such as db oxygen or uh gutenberg you can choose that from the funnel settings all right or if you have any other page builder you can use our shortcuts now this is the area where our widget is placed okay since this is a conditional funnel you can't get a preview of the checkout from now all right but uh in the front end this is going to work so once you're ready designing the page you can just update it and go back to the canvas and now you can edit the upsell page. So in my upsell, I've made a specific product offer. So once I edit this, I'll definitely edit the uh, content here to match the product, okay? So I have offered something uh, which, is a, which was a belt. Uh, belt. So belt at a huge discount. So uh, I think the price, let me just go back to the canvas and check out the price. So I go to the settings drawer, I can see I've offered a belt and the price is $52 instead of $65. So I'll just go back there and I'm just going to write $52 here. And here it's going to be $65. So that's a 20% off. There you go. So I'll just keep this text. This is a dummy text. but. You understand you just have to redefine this page as part of the offer you make so if you have a dynamic offer such as the quantity you can here mention that you buy more of the product you just bought and get a discount things like that okay so once you're ready with this page just click on update and uh, you can go back to the canvas and uh, your funnel is pretty much ready so now when you purchase a product from the store uh, based on the conditions they will enter the funnel let me just give you an example all right now these are all my products okay so let me just sort it out as per t-shirts so let me click on filter and you can see these are the products in the t-shirts category so i'm just going to view the t-shirt all right and here i'm just going to add it to the cart so once it added to the cart i'll just click on view cart and it's going to show me the cart okay so now this is the fun part you can see this is within the t-shirt condition if this was not then it would have not taken me to the funnel but since this is in the t-shirt condition it should take me to the funnel i'll just click on proceed to checkout and you will see that this will redirect me to the funnel page and you can see this is the custom checkout i made and right here i have the order room offer i just made and i can accept it with just one click okay i can also not accept it if i want to so let's say i'm just gonna place uh, an order on cash and delivery i'll just place an order and i'll move on to the upsell so you can see this is the page i just designed uh for upsell so i can click on this button to accept the offer or this button to reject it so i'll just click on this one to accept the offer all right and you can see offer product successfully added and now it's going to take me to the custom thank you page that i have you can see the summary i've accepted the belt offer at 52 dollars all right so that's how easy it is to use global funnels now uh, you might be asking no uh, that was a product that you assigned a condition what happens to the product that i did not assign a condition let me give you an example of that as well so let me just go to the products page and instead of t-shirts let's say i'm gonna go for let's say music all right you all like music so let's say i'm just gonna purchase this one i'm just gonna view this in a new tab and i'm click on, clicking on add to cart and going to the cart you can see in my cart i just have this product and this doesn't fall under the t-shirts category so i'll click on proceed to checkout and this is taking me to my normal e-commerce checkout not into the funnel all right you see so i have set up a conditional funnel so that if someone 
has a product in the t-shirt category only then he will enter the funnel all right and based on that i've made specific order bump and upsell offer so this one is going to be more relevant more meaningful and people are going to find it more exciting and also based on this i can even add a banner on my uh, landing page or home page saying that if you buy t-shirts now you're going to get a special offer so that's how easy it is to use global funnels uh, i just give you a quick overview of how this one works okay and uh, in the next few videos i'm going to demonstrate on using uh, all the other conditions that you might have and you know setting up your dynamic offers so that you get a better understanding of how this works all right so thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video take care